play for the morning. I think mostly sunny skies will be the rule for us. Early morning will be in the upper 40s, but quickly rising into the 50s. We're going to land in the 70s across most of the area tomorrow, downtown areas, and then also Lakeshore probably gets stuck in the upper 50s, probably low 60s. But no matter where you are, if you have not had any allergy issues so far, bless you. And I don't mean the sneezy kind. I mean, bless you because you are so lucky you have not had to deal with it. Oak, mulberry, and juniper pollen right now is high. The tree pollen is going gangbusters. And my family especially has been dealing with the oak pollen. It has been brutal. So hang in there, everybody. Keep those antihistamines going as I show you the dandelion the seeds flying around. Those are popping up right now, too. Tomorrow, the winds are going to be changing. It's not a southerly breeze like we had today. Tomorrow, it's a north wind. That's a cooling wind, especially for the lakeshore areas. And then once we move farther south, you get away from the lake's cooling influence, you warm up beautifully. So probably mid 70s for our friends in tropical Dover. The weekend rain chances are still very tricky right now. We're trying to nail down so you can make your plans. But the problem is it looks like it's just plain old scattered and occasional rain that will be with us just about all weekend long. The systems that are going to be evolving and coming at us are still sitting out in the Plains states. We have a lot of rain, stormy weather that is ongoing in the central plains. We'll be getting the cloud cover from all of this coming in the next 24 to 48 hours. But really the meat of all of these problems will start to move in. And then once we get the rain in here later on Friday and then through the weekend, it's just going to be coming one after the other. A very unsettled pattern is setting up. So on the big picture, trying to track this out for you, you can see we do have some rain that is going to be moving into the Midwest and the Great Lakes region. This is a snapshot of where th rain could be Friday at noon. Notice it is still to the west of us. Doesn't last long, though, because that rain thunderstorms expected to move in by Friday evening, carrying over into Saturday. And Saturday we get stuck with occasional rain and rumbles. Now it's really hard to pin down an exact time. So far, it still does not look like a total washout of a day, but you definitely have to keep rain plans in mind if you have anything going on outdoors on Saturday. Sunday, we're also going to have to keep those rain plans in mind because the shower chances will be lingering. I don't think the rain will be as numerous across the area on Sunday as what we have on Saturday, but those rain chances linger all the way into Sunday evening. All right, for tonight, mostly clear. Temperatures dropping back into the upper 40s and low 50s. Then we springboard right back into the 70s tomorrow. Downtown Cleveland, Lakeshore areas will be cooler, but all of us get to enjoy a few clouds along with some blue skies. And as far as the hour by hour forecast from National Design Mart uh, tells you, we've got that northwest wind that keeps those lakeshore areas a little cooler. Early morning, upper 40s, right around 50. Lots of sunshine to start, but the clouds will be on the increase in the afternoon. Three o'clock, look at this, 80 degrees in Dover. Still in the 50s, downtown Cleveland, that lake temperature still sitting in the 60s at this point, or excuse me, the 40s. Uh, but we will start to see some cooler temperatures that slide in here through the evening as the sun begins to set. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. Tomorrow's 70s turn into 80s on Friday ahead of the thunderstorm chances that come in. And then things just stay unsettled all the way through the weekend, even into most of next week. Rain chances just hanging on.